Hi. So you've seen what happens when Janema tea hits the tongue and how it affects the sense of sweetness. So let's think about how the taste buds in your, in your mouth are reacting to this. So we know that taste starts on the tongue and ends up in the brain where it's interpreted to taste sweet. So how does this actually happen? Well, we need to look more deeply into the taste bud itself. So your mouth has a number of taste buds and they have these microvilli or little finger-like projections that go into your mouth itself. And on top of these microvilli and all around them, there are sweet taste receptors whose job it is is to perceive signals that come in. So that when you eat or drink something sweet or that has sugar in it or any sort of sweetener, these sugar or sweeteners activate those sweet taste receptors. That makes uh, the cell respond in a way that a signal is sent through the cell in a pretty complicated signal transduction pathway that ends up releasing neurotransmitters into the space between the cell and the neurons. That activates the neuron then to send a signal to the brain, and the brain interprets that signal as saying, yum, that was wonderfully sweet. Now, if you're in an AP class or an IB class, you might need more information. The signal receptors are heterodimers. These sweet taste receptors are a combination of T1R2 and T1R3. And you have lots of TR taste receptors and different combinations uh, help you taste different tastes. But these are the ones that work for sweet taste. And they are coupled to a G protein. So we call this a G protein coupled receptor. So when they are stimulated, the G protein actually splits apart. And through a number of enzymatic actions, um, ATP is turned into cyclic AMP and through even more enzymatic actions, then this can cause a phosphorylation of the potassium channels. And if these are closed, then potassium is not able to leave, and so it builds up in the, inside of the cell. This causes a depolarization of the calcium and sodium channels. And so when this happens, calcium and sodium are able to enter the cell. This creates the signal for a neurotransmitter response. So neurotransmitters are made in the cell, released into the cell synapse, and then again, these trigger the neuron to send a signal to the brain, and the brain says, yum. Your job then is to figure out how gymnema might be disrupting this pathway in some way.